So, you want to make a pixel art table. Well, go ahead and take a picture of your dining room table, and then scale the resolution extremely small. It should be pretty pixely after that. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again! Oh, taking a look at a pixel art table tutorial. I'll make up a new file here, 128 by 120 hizzy. And we're going to hit OK on that. And I'm just going to hit uh, Tab to get rid of our preview. I'm sorry, to open up our timeline, rather. Um, and I want to... Uh, I, I just I wanted that open today. I don't know why. And I'm going to get rid of our preview by hitting X. There we go. Now, I'm using my mouse, so it's going to be a little awkward, but it's fine. We're going to go ahead, and the first thing I want to do is get a basic shape down. So I'm going to go solid black. We're not going to do any tones or overlay faded colors today. Um, solid black, and I kind of want to just get a nice rough shape that I want to do. Oops rough shape that I want to do for our um, uh, table. So I'm going to do something like that, just two of these squares, and then I'm going to hit G to bucket fill and then click inside of it, uh, that, that square we just made, rectangle we just made. All right, so from here on out, I kind of want to go ahead and carve this away. So I'm going to hit E to go to the erase tool and then put my brush size on one from eight up here. And we're going to kind of just erase this back. So that little corner right there, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this corner over here. So what is that? Four pixels up, three pixels across. Get rid of all that. And then I'm gonna skip three more pixels and put a line right there. That's too much, but we'll fix it in a second. And then three more pixels, and we're gonna put a line right there. And then we're gonna erase all of this. So now we have this nice little table shape, but it's too tall because uh, I want this to be kind of top down ish, you know. So we'll do something like that instead. Much better. And I also wanna go ahead and round the corners a little bit. A little bit. There we go. Maybe. Sweet. Uh, next things up, I want to go ahead and grab the colors. We can get the colors down now. So I'm going to choose a very slight brownish color y. And I'm going for something maybe like, I don't know, like Forager or Stardew Valley, you know, colored. So it's not going to be super artistic colors, you know, I'm always talking about. But we're just going to go ahead and do something like that. Drop the color down to the left a little bit. Give it a little bit of red. And then we're going to go ahead and do the shading for the table legs there. And I didn't mean to do that. We'll do something like this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and for this piece, I kind of want to just brighten it up a little bit. And we'll, I'll just darken that just very slightly. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I like that. Sweet. So we got two different colors for shading here. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, and I kind of want to do something like this, so we'll shade all of the edges of the corners like this, right? And then we'll grab this color and fill those corners back in and just make that color super dark. Yeah, I likes it. I likes it a lot. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, that's right, the highlights. So, I'm going to eye drop our main color here, uh, shift quite a bit to the yellow, and push it up a little bit. And now we have a little highlight color, which is nice. And I'm just going to get rid of all that, and we'll just fix it in a second here. Um, yeah, we'll just get rid of it all. We'll get rid of all. Eh. Maybe I'll do something like this. We'll go halfway down, then skip one, and then we'll end it there. Same thing on this side. We'll end it like that. Uh, yeah. Sure. Like that. Cool. Now, I'm gonna grab this color and put that... Uh, maybe I'm not gonna do that. That's too, too dark. Let's just darken that one just a little bit. Maybe. And then we'll just kinda tone these together a little bit. So let me eye drop this darker color we have right here. And then I'm going to just drop the opacity down a little bit, and then hit B to go back to brush, and then we'll just do it like that. Super easy way to shade something. Um, maybe we'll even do something like that. No, no, no. Okay. All right, sweet. So we have a little bit of highlights. We got a little bit of nice-looking stuff going on. I want to pull this all the way across, maybe. And then we will do the same thing with that, and we'll pull that over. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I enjoy it. Um, and I want to real quick just do a little quilt, maybe. A little quilt? I don't know. We'll do something like a, uh, very vibrant-ish red-pink color. And then we'll kind of go from here, and we'll just, oh, maybe we'll go all the way across. We'll do something like this instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, no. Uh, cool. Now hold down shift to have the little line like that. And then I'm going to go one down, like, um, go one down like this, rather. And then we'll go down another one. So it kind of has like this little, this little, you know, thing coming off the side of the table. That's pretty cool. Um, and then I want to shade that, of course. So we'll grab that, darken it a little bit to the pinkishy purple. Or we'll go more to the red, actually. Eh. Eh, desaturate. 
dark in it. Ah, uh, it's too dark. Ah, uh, that's. Oh uh, no, that's fine. We'll leave it like that, uh, and then we'll just yeah. Cool. All right. Nice, niceness, niceness. I don't like this, so we're getting rid of it. Never mind. And then I gotta push this down one. All right. Yes, I enjoy that better. Do I? No, I don't. Never mind. All right. Cool. So <laughs> you never know, you know. Uh, and then I, I want to do a little bit of a design in here. Maybe we'll just grab the same color and then we'll do like this. Yeah. Do like that. And then kind of going overboard now. And I know we're probably running out of time. So I got to end this up a little bit. But it's fine. All right. So that's going to be it for our table tutorial. Our pixel art table tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you enjoyed it. If you're enjoying pixel art, I hope you're enjoying it anyway. Do something like that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's, that's a, like a mage table right here. That's what this looks like. It's a mage table, guys. All right, I'm enjoying that. Cool. Uh, and then, of course, we can just go ahead and do our black outline around the edge if I'm ever done with this nitpicky stuff. And yeah, okay, so black outline. Okay, um, we'll just hold down shift, go all the way around the corners and whatnot. And now we have, as you can see, a pixel art table with a little, with a little blanket, extra thingy, you know, a little tablecloth. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, that is it right there. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you then, but until then, bye-bye.